In this video, we're going to go over a technique that's going to make a huge difference in your photography that's known as focus and recompose. First thing, you're going to want to make sure that your camera is set to single point focus. You don't want it so it is automatically picking the focus point for you. Once you've gone ahead and done that, set the focus point for the centermost focus point. In this case, for this exercise, it is the one that is the strongest and quickest and fastest out of all the different focus points on your camera that will get you the most accurate focus. Once you've gone ahead and done that, let's go ahead and practice. What you'll want is first a person to be standing in front of you. That's ideal. If not, if you can't have a person, then a stand-in of a piece of still life from your own house, piece of fruit or anything like that will also do. But let's assume you've got a person in front of you. All right, when you bring your camera up to yourself, go ahead, take the picture just like you normally would. Have good form, good old T-Rex arms. Make sure you're cradling the lens with your left hand. All the way to the camera should be in that left hand. And the right hand was just there to press the shutter. Bring it up to your eye and focus. Press the button down all the way and then all the way and take the shot. You'll find that you probably naturally had the inclination to put that center focus point right on the person's nose. Now what is the part of a person's face that most of the time they dislike the most? Let me give you a clue. It's the nose. And what is the part of the face that sticks out the furthest? Your nose. That is, unless you're Jay Leno. But unfortunately, when you do that and go ahead and focus on that furthest point from your face, your eyes are ever so softly out of focus. And that's unfortunate because the way our, eye, our brain perceives a picture to be properly in focus is by looking and seeing if the eyes are nicely, perfectly sharp and in focus. So what we want to do is instead of focusing on the nose, we want to focus on their eyes. So go ahead, bring the camera up, use that center focus point and put it on their eye and take a shot. All right, you've gone ahead and done that, great. So now, instead of the nose being in focus and being dead center, you've got the eye in focus, but it's dead center. It's probably not the composition you wanted. So, to be able to put it, your eyes or anything else that you want to be in focus anywhere you want in the frame, you do focus and recompose. To do that, we bring our camera back up to our eye and we focus on the part that we want to be in focus. In this case, if it's a person, on their eye. I depress the button halfway on the shutter. Then, using my wrists and only my wrists, I move my camera to reframe my shot or recompose my shot there. Then I press down the shutter button all the way. You'll notice you only heard one focus beep there. If I went ahead and I focused once and then let my finger back up, then recomposed and brought it back down, you'll hear a second focus beep and you'll note that now the background of your shot is in focus and your subject is not. So the way to test and see if you're doing this right is to easily do a test series here. So what we're going to do is bring our camera up to our eye and we're going to focus on our subject's eye and then move them all the way to one side of the frame and then take the shot focus on their eye again, move them all the way to the other side of the frame, take the shot, focus on their eye, move them to the top of the frame, and focus on their eye and move them to the bottom of the frame. Again, you'll note, while I'm doing this, I am not going and moving my body like this or up and down like this. The movement is not in my trunk of my body. It's all isolated just in my hands. The reason why it's important to do that is that it's going to introduce a whole lot less movement of forward and back of moving into different focal planes than if I move like this or like that. You will naturally have the tendency when you first start doing this to do move your uh, torso like this back and forth. Just try to remember to isolate all the movement in your wrists. As you do this more and more, it'll get easier and easier. You can do this exact same technique for vertical shots as well. Same procedure, we just focus halfway and then move our subject to the bottom, focus halfway, recompose and take a shot, focus halfway, move them to the side, take our shot, focus, shutter button halfway, recompose and press it all the way. And that's all you have to do. Again, the same technique can be used very easily for other objects, not just on people, and it'll allow you to now have the control to put 
whatever you want in focus in your image in any place that you want it. So you can compose your shot to look exactly how you want it. And this gives you massively more control than if you ever were just taking a shot and letting your camera use its autofocus feature of picking whichever focus point was going to focus on whatever object was closest to you. And this will make a huge difference in how your photography looks overall.